It began with my skin feeling incredibly itchy, a pain in my abdomen that wouldn't go away. I knew that something is not right with my body. And within two weeks of investigating, I had a diagnosis of Hodgkin's lymphoma, stage three. At the time, I was 21. I still had so many dreams and check boxes not ticked yet. I felt betrayed by life, but I didn't have the support to help process it. And so I just pushed it aside and got focused on surviving. Chemo is hard. Being the youngest person was so uncomfortable. There was no support whatsoever. There was tests, there was medical things, but there was nobody checking in. I was incredibly lonely and going through so much pain every single day. I would think, why do I need to continue with this? I was 23 when I was told I no longer had cancer. I wasn't overjoyed about continuing on with life because I didn't know what that was going to be. My life had changed 180 degrees. But once I started to meet other young adults who had cancer, I realized that my experience was not uncommon. For the first time, I felt seen. There's a difference between a cure and healing. Like the actual healing didn't come from the chemotherapy, it came afterwards dealing with all of these things that had been pushed aside while trying to survive. I see, looking back over the last 10 years, how much I have learned. And so, in an odd way, I'm grateful for cancer. for the gifts that it's brought of helping me understand what is important in life. There was a knowing in my being that this was going to be for something. What I envision is for the Canadian Cancer Society to develop specific programs for young adults. Cancer is a very different experience for young people. We need to do better.